To begin with, turn on the onion skinning. The onion skin allows us to see how much movement we are using with our characters. You'll see it as a ghosting effect. Next, capture your first frame. And using the number keys, capture 11 more identical frames. We always use this method when we're starting an and finishing an animation. Now, move your model or character very slightly. You'll see that the onion skin allows you to see how much movement you are actually putting into your model. Capture the frame. Move the model again and capture another frame. Small movements make the animation play back a lot more smoothly. And that is basically how we put a stop motion animation together. Capture a frame, move our model, capture another frame. At the end of a series of movements, we'll add in six or eight identical frames. In the example with our car, it would be when the car stops and changes direction. By default in Icon Animate, you need to capture 12 frames for every second of animation playback. Keep moving your model and capturing frames until you've completely finished your animation. And then at the end of the animation, don't forget 12 identical frames to finish. Now all we need to do is play back your masterpiece.